The U.S. State Department has approved the potential sale of Patriot Missile Systems related equipment to Taiwan. The deal is worth $95 million. The Pentagon said in a notification to Congress that the approval covers the training, planning, fielding, deployment, operation, maintenance, and sustainment of the Patriot Air Defense System and associated equipment. This proposed sale serves U.S. national, economic, and security interests by supporting the recipient's continuing efforts to modernize its armed forces and to maintain a credible defensive capability. It added, the proposed sale will help to sustain the recipient's missile density and ensure readiness for air operations. The recipient will use this capability as a deterrent to regional threats and to strengthen homeland defense. China stated it strongly opposes the move. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China is so irked by the U.S.'s Patriot Air Defense System deal with Taiwan. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play online military-themed strategy game Conflict of Nations, which is played by millions of players worldwide. We talk a lot about military power and tactical plans of different nations on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? Conflict of Nations is set in the late 20th and early 21st century, fielding present-day and highly modern battlefield technology. At the core of the game is an exciting real-time combat system placing players in control of an existing nation of this world and its army, pitting them against other gamers in a struggle for world domination. Units are moved across the map in real-time, often taking hours to fulfill their assigned mission goals, allowing for a very deep level of strategic planning and integrated tactical execution. Forming lasting alliances or short-lived coalitions is an essential part of the modern military environment. Hence, Conflict of Nations allows players to form cooperative plans and teams in an all-out effort to conquer set objectives through the combined force of arms. Conflict of Nations can be played in PC or mobile. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and get 13,000 gold reward along with one month Security Council membership. China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province and has long called for reunification. It doesn't recognize the international sovereignty of Taiwan and refers to all actions toward the island as internal affairs. The Chinese Defense Ministry statement said, Taiwan is an inalienable part of China. China has time and again threatened Taiwan with aerial incursion and naval transits. The relationship between Taiwan and the United States is unofficial and informal and is governed by the Taiwan Relations Act. The Taiwan Relations Act is designed to maintain ambiguity and does not state if the USA will or will not intervene militarily if China attacks or invades Taiwan. Under the act, the US is obligated to sell arms of a defensive character to Taiwan. The American Patriot Air Defense System is an all-weather, tactical, mobile air defense system. It's manufactured by defense contractor Raytheon and entered service in 1981. It has seen many upgrades since then and the capability has improved a lot since the initial variant. The system has the ability to defend against crews and ballistic missiles, drones, as well as different types of aircraft. Patriot systems have been sold to many countries like Taiwan, the Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait, to name a few. The Patriot system is expected to remain in service until at least 2040. The latest variant of the Patriot is the Pac-3. The Patriot Pac-3 uses a passive, electronically scanned array radar. It's equipped with IFF, identification, friend or foe, and an electronic counter-countermeasure to resist jamming. The radar has a range of around 160 kilometers or 100 miles. Patriot Pac-3 introduced the new MIM-104F missile, which is also referred to as the Pac-3 missile. 
It has reduced size compared to previous Patriot missiles and is more maneuverable. The Patriot missile uses a Track Via Missile TVM, guidance system. After the missile is launched, mid-course guidance is provided by the Mobile Control Center, which uses the radar to direct the missile towards the target. In the terminal phase, the KA band, active radar seeker in the nose of the Pac-3 missile, acquires the inbound threat. This radar selects the radar return, most likely to be the warhead of the incoming missile, and directs the interceptor towards it. The missile uses a hit-to-kill strategy, though it has a small, high-fragmentation warhead to enhance the kill probability. The warhead, also known as Lethality Enhancer, has 24 tungsten fragments that are launched in a radial direction, increasing the probability of interception. Two missiles are launched 4.2 seconds apart in a ripple. The second missile locates any debris, which may be a warhead, and attacks in a similar manner. For aerial targets like aircraft and drones, the Patriot MIM-104F missile has an engagement range of 160 kilometers or 100 miles, whereas for ballistic missiles, it has a range of about 30 kilometers or 18 and a half miles. The deployment time for Patriot is 30 minutes. Taiwan's presidential office noted that this was the third arms sale announced since President Joe Biden took office and showed the rock-solid nature of their relationship. Spokesman Xavier Chang said in a statement, Taiwan will continue to demonstrate its determination to defend itself and continue to deepen cooperative partnerships with the United States and other like-minded countries. Although the U.S. has no formal diplomatic ties with Taiwan, it is bound by law to provide the island with the means to defend itself and is Taiwan's main source of weapons. It has provided key weapons like F-16 fighter jets and is in the process of supplying 108 M1A2 Abrams tanks. Taiwan's defense ministry said it expected the deal to become effective within the month. The Patriot is a system that's designed to provide medium-range air and missile defense over a small area. It can be termed as a point defense system and is suited to provide protection to vital sites like air bases. It would play a vital role in defending Taiwan in case China decides to invade the island nation. The Patriot system could extract a huge toll on Chinese aerial assets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.